and uh, good good to know you're on birds 365 today as well right yep, yep. yeah making the rounds yeah, you'll I'm be back yet. you'll be back with us tomorrow and thursday of course because they they have a walkthrough maybe tomorrow and then no practice thursday and then no practice friday right they have the yep, game yep. thursday night yep and um just looking at it the preparation is there mm -hmm. they know what to do on the defensive side of the ball they're doing what they're supposed to do. They're finishing. And it's not just the starters. It's the, it's the backups doing the same thing also on the defensive side of the ball. They're finishing plays. They're trying to knock balls out, create turnovers, flying around to the ball. Those are all things that you need to be a defense and a successful defense. They're ahead of the curve right now. Offensively, they really got to step it up as far as finishing. You know, getting the tough catches. You know, Fulgham. The reason why he was so good last year for, for from the beginning part of the season, yeah, he that's radius. what he did. Yeah, he was catching the rock. He was making the hard catches. Until they start doing that, this offense is gonna fall. Um, it's gonna sputter. It's gonna falter. It's not gonna be able to, you know, keep the chains moving. They'll be able to run the ball. That offensive line is good enough, and the second team is just good, also. But until they start finishing and optimizing every single play that they put on the on on, on the field. It's going to be tough sledding for this offense. Well, now there's a question here on the stream from Adam saying, Brooksy, how are the rookies on defense doing? Now, I've heard you glow about Zach McPherson already, but what about the, the interior linemen that they've drafted? All of them. Williams is playing well. Yeah. They move him to the outside. He's rushing the pass as well. He's explosive. I mean, very explosive. Then you look at guys, you know, um, you know, that they that were young too, you know, Deshaun Bradley's, Davion Tellers, you know, that to me they're still rookies until your third game, you're still a rookie. But then you have um, you know, a couple of DBs that are that are playing at a high level, also, you know. So I am looking at them and you know, a guy like you know, the, the rookie they had from from LSU, uh, what was his name? He he plays linebacker now, but he's linebacker slash slash um safety. Safety. Yeah, I forget uh, his name too. But you know he's playing. He's playing at a high level. He's playing around. He's flying around. Um, Michael Jacquet's flying around, playing well. Also, they're looking good, man. They're really looking good. And the reason why is because they're doing everything full. <clears throat> excuse me, full speed. Everybody's going full speed. Uh, that's Jacoby Stevens. That's what it is, Jacoby mm -hmm. Stevens. But they're going full speed. And when you go full speed like that, you know it gives you an opportunity if you do mess up. To, to 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 still play well enough to play your way through it. If you don't go full speed, you're not going to be able to do that. Once you put pads on, that's when the offense can really show who they are. That way the offensive line can you know, come off the ball, start rolling people up. It'll define the run game. But until they do that, you know, it's going to be hard-pressed for this offense to really get going. Hmm. Uh, if you missed any of today's show on the Jacob Media channel, listen to the podcast on your way home. Available on YouTube, Apple, and Spotify.